that that's fine. You can say Ziggy that there was there is a huh? Asian guy by the name of Johnny Kim who called me Ziggy for a long time. So Ziggy works. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, Ziggy." So no, and you're, then good. I was, yeah. you're good. Then I was scared friend. to death of the technology of this. You know, I didn't know if I'd screw the whole thing up. Anyway, I'm glad to be here, uh, Jiggy. So tell us about your latest project. Well, I was an activist years ago, actually. Um, during the Obama years, I, I put together this radio show, The Joe Citizen Show. Uh, as a musician, just because I was losing my mind, I saw the country being literally dissembled every single day. Um, but I got burnt out with that. I flamed out uh, sometime, sometime after um, Romney lost the election. I did some other things, but I was less active. And for the past several years, I've just been playing senior softball, to tell you the truth. Uh, watching every moment watching every second, but not being personally involved other than some Facebook posts, which is meaningless. Then a very smart friend of mine, Sandy Kopoulos, he happens to be a senior softball player. And we talk about politics all the time on the phone, you know, an hour or two a day. And uh, he called me one day, he said, look, I've got these lyrics of what I did to uh, the ladies of Tramp. I said, oh, okay. He brought them over. I said, hey, these are pretty good. He said, you want to do it? Can you sing it? I said, I guess so. And uh, that's it. You know, uh, we, we got the track and I, I manipulated the tempo, the, the key. Um, and we went to the studio and we said, hey, we got something pretty good here. We're pretty proud of it. That's awesome. And then the, uh, then the other one I did was uh, a lyric parody. So you don't have real video. It's just the words, which in a way is an advantage for this one. Uh, the opening lines are, uh, he was framed by Hillary FBI and NBC, a deplorable hoax. He was right all along. So that's what we've got in the till right now. And really, the only purpose, Jiggy, was really to try to help get this uh, country back and help uh, the Republicans win this election. I'm not a born Republican. I was a Democrat, like a lot of other people. But these ain't my daddy's. It's not my Democrats. This is not JFK's. This is not, I don't know. These aren't even the Democrats' Democrats. These are communist socialists. And there's so many good Democrats that don't pay attention, that are not looking up, that really have no idea how much has changed. We have got a great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast. Roger Homefield is with us. He's a singer, he's a writer, he's a trombonist, and he joins us today here on our big program. So tell me a little bit about this latest parody, That's Why We Need to Bring Back Trump. Well, that's the one that uh, Sandy did on The Ladies of Tramp. And it's uh, it's jam packed with issues from the border to uh, critical race theory. It's got just about everything in there, which is why it's a rather long parody. It's two and a half minutes. But we needed that much time really to to get all those issues in there. And, um, you know, I got to confide with you, Jiggy, Uh, something that's been bothering me for the last 24 hours because I was totally, you know, preparing and, you know, expecting to come on here and talk about those things in the video. And certainly we can. But I've been talking to a friend of mine, a couple of friends, and uh, one guy's very smart. And I, um, and my my radio show was basically ensconced in jihad and Obama and what's happening to the country domestically and this and that. Uh, I raised the issues of Agenda 21 and this and that, but I never dove into them myself. So I'm just scared now, Jiggy. That's how I actually feel. I feel scared because while we're all going to like talk about, like, let's say all the things in our video, which is great. I'm not saying we shouldn't talk about them. They're all important. But we could discuss them all by one and all scratch our heads and say, how can the Democrats be that stupid? Well, they're not that stupid. If not, their agenda is destroy America. They want to destroy America so it can undergo its fundamental transformation. And that's why I'm scared, Jiggy, because we're all looking at the individual components. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Well, that's why they're doing it. And while we're trying to figure out why you're doing this, I'm just afraid that this Agenda 1 and Agenda 30 has maybe has a stronghold in it that's going to be difficult to get rid of. And perhaps maybe that's the single main reason why we need to bring back Trump. We have got a great guest with us today. Roger Homefield is with us. He's a high energy wealth of research in politics, and he creates parodies with messaging. He joins us today here via the magic of the old Skip Skype. Yes, the old Skype Rooney. And uh, so, tell me a little bit about what the reaction has been to all of your stuff. Well, as with anything else, people that you speak to personally, you're always going to say it was great. No, from what I understand, the reaction has been very good. Look, I'm pretty critical myself on things, and 
and uh, I think I was to be objective enough. Uh, the, the video is really, really, it's a great video. Bring back Trump dot net. But the reaction has been very, very good. Now, has it gone to, to uh, millions of people yet? No. Will it? I, I really don't know. Uh, we're just trying to do our very best, Jiggy. Uh, we think we covered a lot of bases with that video. And uh, we certainly hope a lot of people get to see it. We ho- we're not going to win any uh, liberals over Jiggy, but we are hoping to show the independents how ridiculous it would be to vote for the Democrats at this point. And uh, we just hope to God it does some good, Jiggy, because people, my generation, we've taken America for granted. You know, I had this golden childhood, born in 1950. Oops, did I give it away? My biggest problem at 11 years old in 1961 was, is Roger Maris going to hit 61 home runs? Is he going to break bait and strike it? That was my biggest problem. And then all these other people at 11 years old, uh, Jiggy, they're seeing tapes or hopefully not seeing tapes of people getting their heads cut off, sawed off. Uh, a, a pretty different situation. So we all expected America to last forever. But it's not if we just sit there in the stands watching the game. We got to get our asses down from the stands and onto the field because Uncle Sam right now is getting the crap kicked out of him. And we all have to get involved. So, we are going to go back to our guest who apparently uh, our other, we had someone who doesn't understand the concept of time zones. And uh, they decided that they were going to uh, interrupt. So, we have to go back and get Roger Broomfield back, home field, back, and finish up this edition. <laughs> Build, grow, and enjoy. What a bunch of bullshit, I'll have to say. So, we are going to go back to our guest. We had another guest who apparently does not understand the concept of time zones. So what happened is they decided to call and they had to interrupt us. So we are going to get Roger back in here. We're going to see if Skype will cooperate. We might have to redo this later with Roger Broomfield. So we're getting... Back on with him, maybe. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and reboot Skype. You have to bring the group. Okay, we are back. I think we've got uh, Roger Homefield back with us. I had a uh, I had a guest who apparently does not understand the concept of time zones, and was being very rude, and so we got rid of her, and we're back with Roger. So. Um, tell us a little bit about what the reaction has been to your parodies and your music and everything, my friend. I think it's a relief. Look, for, for seven years, the Trump supporters, uh, by the way, you can hear and see me okay? I've got you, my friend. I've got okay. you. We All need right. we, we, we need to get going because people want to hear right. more about you. I don't care about for the technical seven. issues. I care about you and your parodies. Tell us all about it, my friend. I'm rocking and rolling and I'm ready to go. So, Tell me I'm all so about it. I'm so glad I have somebody that screams like I do. Look, for seven years, Trump has been getting smacked around. Right. Yep. Even yep. Like people that like him, they say, "Well, we like him, but I wish he would do that." For seven years, he's been getting kicked and smacked around every which way possible. Yes. Uh, but lately, more and more so. So has his voters. And I don't have to tell you uh, what Biden's been saying about ultra mega, ultra mega. You know, it, 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 if I didn't know better, Jiggy, if I didn't know better, I, I would think he's uh, trying to set up ultra mega people to be like the Jews in Germany before the slaughter. Are we supposed to? We're <laughs> stars of mega. Uh, I'm going to have gold six, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's that bad, though, Jiggy, because I've never seen anything like this. But I think I forgot what your question was. Were you asking about the reaction? What's, what's been the reaction? What, 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 what do people, you know, say about your stuff? Hate it, love it, in between. Uh, tell us all about it. They love it because somebody is, somebody is, is saying what they think, is saying what they feel. And they haven't had a chance to really speak back. They've been getting it. Like I say, when Trump gets criticized, they call him a traitor. The people that voted for him are on their heels. They think, oh, my God, you know. 
And it's been like that for seven years. So uh, the ladies at Tramp think it's got some levity in it. It's very serious, but it has some levity to it. And, of course, the other one, uh, the reason I did the second one, Jiggy, uh, uh, he was framed by Hillary, the FBI and NBC, is because nobody seems to know that. I mean, all the low information uh, left-wing voters or Democrat voters, they don't know it. They don't want to know it. They don't care. Uh, but how can we have a situation like that where this is documented in Durham's report, uh, which hopefully will be, become completed, but it's in black and white. Hillary hatched the whole Russia, Russia, Russia scheme. Nobody seems to know that. Or if they do, it, I guess it's not a big deal. you got January Sixers not, not saying everything they do is fine, but you've got people in jail for a year without trials. But you've got Hillary sitting there. She, she made up the whole video, video. It's the video thing in Benghazi. She hatched this whole Russia, Russia. Aren't you people pissed off that for, for all these years we were led around by the nose, by these left-wing radicals, by these kook jobs that think you and I are so stupid they can get away with it? And guess what? They have. To this point, they have gotten away with it. Roger Homefield with us today. Before we let you go, my friend, how do we...